Yeah, so this is the first official day, and um, yeah, everyone's been really welcoming and met a few met a few of the Premiership players. So um, yeah, it's obviously been a big day, but uh, yeah, everyone's been welcoming. So yeah, really enjoyed it. Are you moving in with one of the boys for the first couple of weeks or anything like that? I'm in with um, Fergus and Josh Dunkley at the moment. So um, yeah, I think that's for the first couple of weeks, and then in with the host family. So. Should be good. He's got you doing all the dirty jobs, putting the bins out already. Has he laid the law down? Oh, no, he's actually pretty good. He's sort of looking after me, so yeah, no, it's, it's, no, it's a nice spot. Well, you're obviously a massive guy, but you cover the ground really well from the looks of it. In an ideal world, what would your preferred position be? I feel that I played in the ruck, is probably my position, but um, yeah, so I guess that's for the coaches to decide. What was the first impression when your name was called out, mate? Uh, yeah, I was shocked. Yeah, so obviously it's really exciting. Um, sort of a big build up, so I was pretty nervous through that, and um, yeah, didn't really sleep too much the night before. But um, yeah, once your name gets called out, it's a huge relief and um, yeah, excitement and um, anticipation sort of feels. And what about the move from WA? You're obviously comfortable to move to a different state and start a new life out here. Yeah, so I actually went to boarding school for six years and lived away from home for this year as well, just with my brother. So um, yeah, that I should be able to. Move, move away from home relatively well. What are your thoughts on, I guess, how Bevo uses Ruckman and, and sort of the style of Ruckman that he's, he's after? Uh, yeah, so um, he likes to have the mobile Ruckman. I think he's open, openly said that. And, yeah, obviously it's a huge honour to be able to sort of play under him and play with that game style. Obviously um, the list management has sort of had that faith in me to being able to play that role. So. Um, yeah, obviously, I'm really looking forward to it. Is that how your skill set, I guess, has, has served you well through juniors? You are sort of that more mobile and able to get your hands dirty on the ground too? I think, in a way, it sort of has helped. Um, yeah, it's just dependent upon sort of game plans and stuff like that. So at South Fremantle, that was sort of my role within the club. So hopefully that will be a similar role to here. So not a, not a traditional Ruckman in the, in the street sense, would you say yourself? Um, I'd, mobility is probably one of my strengths, so yeah, I would say, yeah, maybe not. There have been comparisons to Dan Cox and Brodie Grundy already in just those sorts of names. Do you, does that intimidate you or do you just take it in your stride? Um, I can't really control what people's opinions are in that sort of sense, but um, yeah, I'm sure I'd be stoked if I could be half as good as Dan Cox and sort of push up into that Brodie Grundy range. So um, yeah, obviously it's a huge comparison, but um, yeah, obviously pretty humble to be compared to that, but then again, I haven't really achieved anything at that level, so um, yeah, it's their opinion. But I guess, how did you hear you become a Bulldog, mate? Um, I was sitting watching it on the TV. I was actually having a conversation with my dad at the time, so I um, didn't hear it. My brother was the first one to react, so it was very exciting, and then received a phone call, so it all happened very quickly for me. Yeah. Did you know the dogs were interested in... Did he give you any promises? Oh, no, nah, no promises. Um, I had spoken to him a couple of times, but I was sort of going in um, not expecting too much. So to get the call up was uh, extremely exciting, and I yeah, was really humbled by it. What are your strengths, mate? I saw you had a pretty decent beating test, so obviously your, your tank's pretty handy. Yeah, um, I tried to work on my endurance as much as I can. I thought if it's a, if it's a positive, I'll try and make it a real strength. Um, also fairly athletic, I think, um, something I can really work with. But... Oh, at this stage, I'm just going to sort of take what the club says and try and work along those lines. Yeah. Are you a natural footballer? I think so, yeah. No, look, it's, uh, my family's always you know, played football, my dad, my uncles, my grandfather, so I've come from a, you know, a fairly good football background, so I'd like to think so, but you know, coming into a club, you know, they're going to try everything to make me the, a better footballer and I'll take that all on. How do you train for a big test? Um, how did you get up to that level? Um, well, for me, I just did interval training, so um, you know, I was going for 10, 15 K runs. Um, oh, three, four times a week. Um, so I was trying to really push myself. Um, oh, it's just sort of, you know, getting up out of bed was always tough. But once you do that, you can sort of get going. Uh, you do that before school, you? Yeah, I tried to. It was handy um, because it was, you know, around exam time that you know, the combine was on. So I was able to have a bit of free time that I could do it during the day. And it was, yeah, it was handy then. At what point of the season did you think that you were a realistic chance to get drafted? Oh, uh, probably about a week before the draft. <laughs> I, uh, no, look, it was a real surprise for me. Um, I didn't have, you know, I had an okay season with the Pioneers, finished pretty well. Um, but I, I honestly didn't think come into the year that I was any sort of chance. That so was, you know, I, was, I, th I think uh, I've sort of nearly put myself in contention to earn the, earn the role of being a you know, Western Bulldog, but I, I didn't think I was a big chance, yeah. It's 
Tim, do you, do you feel like you'll need to sort of hone your craft for a year or two and put some, some weight on, or do you feel like senior footies within your grasp earlier than that? Um, obviously, weight, putting weight on is it, um, a real need for me. Um, so, yeah, pretty skinny at the moment. But, um, yeah, hopefully you can get into the gym and build strength up. But, um, yeah, in saying that, I'll just try and, try and work on my craft and, yeah, see what, see what the coaches think. And what about joining the, the reigning premiers? I mean, you guys, did you, how did you sort of view, view what the doggies were able to do? Oh, yeah, I watched the grand final twice in the end. So, um, yeah, obviously I really enjoyed, enjoyed watching their sort of story through finals and um, they played significantly better than a lot, um, throughout that final series, I think. And, um, yeah, so obviously a really good story. Got a pretty handy ruck coach in Stephen King, a premiership player himself. It must be a little lot of him. Uh, yeah, obviously um, we'll be really looking forward to working under him. He's obviously a very successful ruckman, so yeah, looking forward to that. Fergus, like you obviously went relatively late in the draft. Was there a point when it got late that you didn't think you were going to go? Um, no, I went into it thinking if I was going to go, it would be late. Um, so I wasn't too stressed. I sort of watched the first couple of picks um, and sort of made a joke with my brother, I might go now. Uh, but, <laughs> No, look, yeah, when, I, when it got to sort of the 60s and 70s, I thought this is where, if I'll go, I'll be a chance. So, oh, look, I wasn't too stressed at any stage, so I thought, you know, there's always Monday. Um, but to go, you know, pick 70, I think that's pretty uh, pretty high for where I thought I was going to go, so I was, I was stoked with that. Where did you spend time? Oh, I was at home. I was uh, just with close family. Um, I didn't want to invite too many friends around because... I didn't want to really waste their time, but it, uh, t I couldn't catch up with them later in the night, which was good. Um, so yeah, I was just at home.